everybody my name is Lau and welcome to the channel so we're jumping back into 15 things you didn't know this time we're going to do it about brazil so i don't know much about brazil i know it's uh pele comes from there the amazon river dan vasque and uh gabriel Enrique comes from there apart from that i have no idea so we're going to jump in we're going to have a look at this one let's do 15 things you didn't know about brazil And obviously the redeemer, the Christ Brazil. the redeemer we know. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. Today we're exploring the exotic and stunning country of Brazil. The largest South American country. Brazil is known for its incredible ecological variety, beautiful oh, wow. beaches, and even more beautiful women. Brazil was famously colonized by Portugal in 1500, making it the only South American country to not speak Spanish. Knew also that. The famous okay. Amazon River and the huge tropical forest that surrounds it. Many medicines, species, and natural phenomena have been discovered here. Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the world's most diverse and fascinating countries. So here are 15 things you didn't know about Brazil. Number one, Brazil's Baia do Sancho is the best beach in the world. According to TripAdvisor reviews, Dia wow. do Sancho is the best beach in the world thanks to its crystal clear waters and incredible landscape. Particularly perfect for divers and snorkelers, visitors will be able to swim alongside turtles, clownfish, parrotfish, and even reef sharks. Part of its own network of islands, many visitors come for two or three days to fully take advantage of it. Wow, nice looking beach. Um... I wouldn't mind going for a swim. I wouldn't mind trying to catch some of that golden trevally. But anyway. Number something. two. 82% of Brazilians can trace their ancestry back to slavery. During the wow. Portuguese occupation during the 1500s, many Brazilians were enslaved for agricultural work and mining. Slaves of African origin began to arrive in the 16th century, which contributed to Brazil becoming a leading sugar exporter. And even after abolitionism, slaves were continuously shipped to and from Brazil. Historically, Brazilian slaves had more of a chance of achieving upward mobility because their skin tone was usually lighter than African slaves. But the communities still mixed, creating generations of people who could trace their ancestry back to the slave trade. 82 percent wow number three there wow. are two osama bin laden themed bars in brazil the former terrorist and al-qaeda leader Wait, seems what? like a strange person to create a themed bar around but the brazilians have taken the concept and run with it bar do bin laden in sao paulo and caverna do bin laden near rio are run by lookalikes Sao Paulo Bar was renamed because the police were called by a concerned patron who thought Bin Laden was lying low behind oh the bar. Oh my god. These are the most famous, but there are apparently over 10 Brazilian bars and restaurants named after the terrorist leader. Wow, that is something I would n I wonder if that's still. Let me know if you know. Let me know if that's still something that's there. I would never have thought that. Number four, Brazil has 4,000 airports, beaten only in number by the USA. 4, the busiest thousand? airport in Brazil is Guarulhos International Airport in Sao Paulo, which serves nearly 40 million passengers a year. Unfortunately, it was recently voted the 10th worst airport in the world oh. by CNN readers because less than half of their flights leave on time and only 59% of flights arrive on schedule. Interested in getting around in a different way? watch our 4000 airports that's a lot video about that's a 10 lot. stylish boats for the modern single man number five brazil's indigenous people didn't keep written records or build monuments very little is known about brazil's native people because they didn't build monuments or erect any kind of stone structures Adding to this is the fact that the soil is acidic and the climate is humid, so many wooden materials and bone remains have been destroyed by the natural surroundings. The only real indication are what are believed to be ancient landfill sites, where the remains of some of the homes and even discarded shellfish have been found. 
Number 6. There are approximately 100 communities in the Amazon that have never had oh. contact with the rest of the world. The Amazon rainforest covers a colossal 2.5 million square miles, which is why much of it remains unexplored. Within the forest are estimated to be 100 communities of people who are undiscovered and remain entirely separate from the rest of Brazil's population. Various communities have been found using aerial photography, including the Awa, who live a nomadic life that involves constantly moving their camp every few days. This is probably a good indication wow. that they don't want to be disturbed. Number 7. Some Nazi war criminals fled to Brazil after the Second World War. After their defeat in Germany and the liberation of their concentration camps, various Nazis escaped to Brazil and went into hiding. The most infamous was the notorious Dr. Josef Mengele, who was the SS garrison physician at Auschwitz. Mm. An Argentine historian actually claimed that Mengele was responsible for the sudden surge in twin births in his new Brazilian village home, but this was later disproved. Mengele died of a stroke while swimming, drowning in the sea. He was buried under his false name, Wolfgang Gerard, and never faced capture or the consequences of his war crimes. Mm. Number 8. The most expensive home in Brazil is a $28 million Sao Paulo penthouse. Wow. Designed by Idemar Berezen, La Salle's Jardin is one of the tallest apartment blocks in Brazil and also the most expensive to live in. The penthouse is obviously the jewel of the crown, measuring 1,400 square meters, underfloor heating, and an ozone-treated swimming wow. pool. One of the building's most famous residents is Val Macchiori, a former supermodel and socialite who's worth $60 million. $28 million. Jesus. That's ridiculous. Number nine. Some of the world's biggest celebrities have toured Brazil's various shanty towns. What could be better for some of the poorest people in the world than meeting some of the richest? Brazil's mm. favelas have been visited by Madonna in 2009, surrounded by bodyguards and reportedly wearing a bulletproof vest. Michael Jackson took a trip when he visited Rio to film a music video in 1996. The favelas are home to 1.4 million people in Rio, which wow. is 22% of the city's entire population. One of the favelas to be cleaned up and emptied of its drug dealing gangs was Santa Marta in 2008 and has consequently become a celebrity favorite. Number 10. Half of Brazil's tourists will visit Rio. The majority of tourists to Brazil come from Argentina, approximately 1.7 million people in 2014. The majority will go to arguably Brazil's most famous city, Rio de Janeiro mainly for its world-famous carnival and stunning beaches. The most popular destination for business people is the country's financial center, Sao Paulo. Salvador is the capital of Afro-Brazilian culture, and tourists also flock to the largest waterfall system in the world, Iguzuru Falls. Mm. Number 11. Brazil's most famous footballer is Pele, considered the greatest in the world by Maradona, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Lionel Messi. And of course, obviously, since this has been made, we've um, lost Pele um, at the start of the year. Growing up in poverty, Pele became the world's greatest footballer and has a legacy like no other footballer. He was a part of the World Cup winning team in 1958 and 1962 and is still a Brazilian legend. Andy Warhol modified his classic 15 minutes of fame quote for Pele, claiming he would have 15 centuries of fame. His contemporaries have been just as complimentary. England's captain in 1966, Bobby Moore, claimed he was like magic in the air. Number 12. Brazil's highest mountain wasn't discovered until the 1950s. 1950s? Because it's almost permanently covered in cloud. Oh. Pico de Neblina is appropriately named Mist Peak and stands at 9,823 feet above sea level. The first people to find it were Brazilian soldiers, and the first ascent took place in 1965. The story of a... Imagine 1950s, you know... I mean, obviously, Brazil's been... Um, had people in it for a long time, and then 1950s turn around and go, where the hell did that mountain come from? It's like, what the... Its discovery varies, but the most popular is that pilots flew over it during a rare clear day. 
The mountain is also very difficult to access in a largely uninhabited region of the Amazon, wow. which also explains why something as big as this went undiscovered for so long. Jeez. Number 13. Brazil is home to the largest population of oh. Catholics in the world. 73.6% of Brazilians are Catholic, and one of the country's most famous monuments is Christ the Redeemer, one of the new seven wonders of the world. Catholicism was introduced to Brazil during the colonial era, with spreading Christianity becoming one of the Portuguese's main missions. In recent years, the church has tried to oppose various governmental changes, including the proposal to legislate abortion, same-sex marriage, and same-sex adoption. Number 14. The Amazon rainforest produces one-third of the Earth's oxygen. Not only wow. is the Amazon one of the biodiverse regions on the planet, it's pretty essential for our continued survival. Covering one billion acres, the rainforest is often nicknamed the lungs of our planet, as well as the home of 10 million species of plants, insects, and animals. We also wouldn't have avocados, black pepper, potatoes, pineapples, coffee, sugar, oh. or tomatoes without it. So your refrigerator would look wildly different if it wasn't for the Amazon. No coffee? Nah. Nah. Wait, nah. I, I couldn't survive with no coffee. Sorry. Number 15. Oh, Carmen One of Miranda. Brazil's most famous exports, Carmen oh. Miranda, was criticized. I've heard of Carmen Miranda. I didn't know she was Brazilian. By okay. Brazilians. Carmen Miranda was a Portuguese Brazilian singer and performer who made her American debut in 1940 after becoming Brazil's most popular singer. The Brazilian bombshell returned to her home country after making it big in America. Her fellow Brazilians remained unimpressed. Huh. The press considered her too Americanized, and the upper classes thought she was too black and in poor taste. She couldn't really win, but she died with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame regardless. Brazil has something for everyone. Whether you're a keen biologist or a party animal, there's plenty to enjoy and experiment with. The country's stereotypes only scratch the surface of its diverse culture, and after hosting the Olympic Games, it's undoubtedly going to see even more tourists fly into its 4,000 airports. If you could take a trip to this amazing country, what would be your first stop? Would you be the first to join with the famous Carnival? Or are you more interested in traversing the famous Amazon Basin and discovering those remote communities of hunter-gatherers? Wow. That was very interesting. Oh, you're still here? Well, here's another amazing fact about beautiful Brazil. There are fishermen in the southeast of Brazil who reportedly use dolphins to help them catch fish. The dolphins herd the fish into nets and have learned to indicate where there are more fish. This isn't a new practice, going on for centuries in Laguna, but it's the first time the rest of the world has heard about it. Hey, mullet. Thank you for... Don't they have um pink dolphins in the Amazon? I'm pretty sure they have pink dolphins spending some time with us a luxer make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video if you want more we handpicked these videos you might enjoy or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet that was very interesting Four thousand airports that is a lot that is a lot um I mean, there obviously is a lot of people living in Brazil, but yeah, 4,000. Wow. That's a lot of airports. Um, very interesting. Very diverse country, isn't it? You know, very diverse. As I said, you know, from everything from, you know, hunter-gatherers still in the Amazon, still no contact with the, the outside kind of modern world, right up to, you know, $28 million luxury apartments. Oh my God. So, so diverse there. So diverse. Um, very interesting. I found that fascinating. I found that fascinating. So, uh, didn't know a lot. Obviously Christ the Redeemer. We know, obviously Pele, we know if huge, uh, grew up with football. Uh, so, you know, things like that we knew, but, um, 
things about the Amazon, Amazon always fascinates me, you know, you know, with all the, the, the LIDAR that they're doing now, the, 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 um, radar that can see underneath the ground and everything, you know, they use it for archeology, span all these different structures and, you know, archeology span that's been found in the Amazon that dates back, you know, thousands of years, tens of thousands of years. And they go, how, you know, where did they come from? Who built them? So there's so much mystery in there. Uh, it's just one of those places that is just shrouded and, and how can you not see a mountain in your country till 1950? I mean, it is, as I said, in um, unpopulated area, but yeah, that's, that's fascinating. You know, I mean, how many more mysteries are in there? You know, how many more mysteries are in that, that section of, um, of land? I mean, they, they want to go to the, to Mars and to the moon again. It's like, we don't even know what's in the Amazon. What? You know, why would we need to go somewhere else to discover stuff? There's stuff in there to discover for many, many, many years to come. So, um, yeah, that was very fascinating. Found that fascinating. So let me know. Let me know what you guys thought of that, too. If you have another country you'd want to do, let me know in the comment section. Um, we'll definitely do some more. So, guys, thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you stay safe, and I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?